la espalda significa que me iba a romper la espalda Sometimes I feel very sorry for those of you who don't understand Mexican Spanish and are out of the loop of the cultural resets that we constantly have as a country because that's the reason why I'm proud to be a Mexican because of all of the cultural references and memes also anyways today <laughs> I am finally, and you don't know, you cannot understand the excitement that lives within me today of finally doing the Maison Martin Margiela on Martin Margiela Spring 2003 recreation because it's not an easy look to pull together and the concept that I'm going with it it's like the bend and snap moment from Legally Blonde Yes, I like to go places and I went there. It all started last year, because this I found last year, um, when I was perusing a Mexican secondhand site that normally has not really like great stuff. But I found this and I was like, wait, that's a weird piece. Like that's a weird skirt. This was not saying much to me of, yes, it but then I went deeper into the archives and I realized that this was the spring 2003 top. Like this is from the Transformers collection. This is the skirt. If you're familiar with the documentary, they have the tights, the shiny tights. I don't know if they are showing up shiny. But these tights were so fucking hard to find. I wanted to get them in blue, but they were extremely expensive if I were to order them in blue. So white has to do. I have to paint the toes in similar fashion as Martin did with the shoes underneath and the tights on top to do a little bit of a tombloil moment just as the sunglasses moment is. This is the intro and this is how I did this which was very easy but then there's you, yeah, it's very easy to fuck it up. I think I will add to the end the TikTok and maybe a little bit of a runway behind the scenes original video so that you can understand why I'm very happy. Okay, the sunglasses that I managed to get were these and I just spray painted them in black with my little trusty spray can. So that's what we've got to work with. And with a liner, Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner. This doesn't have to be retractable, you know? All we're gonna try to trace is the simulation of a shadow so that when we remove this, it's like we still have the shadow of the sunglasses, if you know what I mean. So. This is the easiest part, I think, I feel. Now I just have to fill all of this up. The other day, I was talking to somebody about what this project of me doing my makeup online and 
recreating my Instagram and all that because this is not my job or what I would like my job to be. This is just a creative outlet of sorts. I said, you know what is that I would love to play with all of these things that I I like because of what they represent and their archival value and all that, but like the purpose for me is like to play with them. Like I wanna not like I wanna wear them, I don't have like an event to wear them to, but I want to to have fun with them and for me to have fun with them is doing this like wouldn't you like to be a stylist and I was like I like what model would really I couldn't I know it's like when you are a stylist and you're a model you have to let people do these things to you but like I wouldn't like I, I couldn't dare to do this on a model to subject her to this level of satire <laughs> that's what I I see that I am doing like dressing up as a Martin Margiela collection or a product collection like nobody really like no that that wouldn't warranty me like that couldn't be a job like this no I have a black eyeshadow that I want to set all of this because I'm sweating <laughs> It looks so much better when you set it up with a black eyeshadow. Voila! So that's the makeup look to be complimented with. Oh, this is so cool! Oh my god! Okay, bye!
In my experience, it has a 98% success rate of getting a man's attention and... Bend and snap. Okay. Um, yeah. A little less bend, a little more snap. Like this? Good snap. Come on. And snap. Come on. Come on. Come on.